life is a casino. We don't sing, we just hit them off with c -Nos. And you can bet it all. I'm gonna be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. What's up, Luigi? Life is a casino. We don't sing, we just hit them off with c -Nos. Tell us about And you can bet it all. I'm gonna be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. with Joey Molino. Welcome back to episode 51, The Skinny, with Joey Merlino and Little Snuff. Today, we got the legend on the podcast. What's up, Mick? How you What's doing? Happening? They call What's you Little Snuff or Little, Little Snuff? Snuff? Little Snuff? My yeah, father's well, father Big Snuff. Snuff. Yeah? What's so up, I became man? Little Snuff. There's a medium Snuff or no? <laughs> There's a dog Snuff. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad's got a dog Snuff. Yeah, Snuff. Yeah, Snuffy. Snuff. Snuffy? Yeah. That's cool. classic. Snuffles? Hey, Snuffy, Snuffy, Snuffleuff, I guess. Snuffy Bear. <laughs> There's all different nicknames. Thanks for calling the podcast. We really appreciate it. Wouldn't We're, miss it for the world. We came out, we came to California to say our boy. Yeah, I appreciate your guys, you guys coming all the way out here. Yeah, it's nice. Fucking traffic is unbearable. Let's say, mm -hmm. I, we got lost on the way here by an accident, and I went to your okay. place to steady here. Yeah. He was motherfucking me the whole time. We nice went, place, though, right? I got your nice house place. is yeah, gorgeous. Right. We went yeah. to, listen, we pulled up as a gated community. Yeah. I said, Snuff, this ain't no fucking studio. It's yeah, actually no, not a community. That's just my personal gate, by the way. That's your that's personal, your personal gate? gate? Yeah. God bless you. You <laughs> must have killed them in the casino. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a fucking God. mansion. Jeez. I said, Snuff, there's no way a studio's in there. Look at these houses. I said to the guy, I said, hey, Kevin Connolly, mm -hmm. he looked at me. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Wrong one. I knew it came. Listen, uh, but we wanted it. We were on the way here. We were talking, of course, in California. I always want to stop at any casino possibly I could find. Walk us through mm -hmm. where you started from growing up. I know, you know, Atlantic City, but how did this whole thing happen for you? Um, well, it was in the family, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, like pretty young. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do a new thing I've never done before. Okay. I'm going to literally not care on this podcast. Fuck all right. Just so you guys know. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we don't go two fucks. All right, because usually, you know, like I'm, I try to give like methodical answers. Yeah. I try to give like specific clickbait this or only yeah. half answer this because then it drives more views when people comment. They go, what about this half of this? So I do all, you know, like this. I haven't slept in two days. So I hosted a, a party yesterday. They're still partying at my house right now. We'll go back we there. Have, we should have got in there. Yeah, you yeah. Could, I told. I mean, I, you know, you guys were. I invited you last night. I know you I did. Know you Thank did. you. And then I have to go from here. I have a call with the vice president of Caesars, and then I have to go from there. I'm also throwing the party for Face Clan today, which actually starts at yeah, two o'clock. Yeah, you were weird. telling me that. Yeah. So I haven't slept in two days. I traveled the first one, did a bunch of like. You know, I've been doing a lot of group sex recently. I've been on a good tear. So I very good tear. Yeah. So I land from Vegas two days ago. Some people came over, went right into it rolled into the next day I'd, i'm only in town yesterday and today and the okay. whole month i'm gone wow so yesterday was just all meetings through the party they're still partying came here haven't still haven't slept got the call after this and then i have to go to the face clan party and then i have to get a plane on a plane in the morning go to arizona and do a party out there jeez oh god bless so you i'm on a hot one right now yeah you you're coming to miami home. right you said yeah yeah so i'm gonna be in miami uh, so i go from arizona to miami on um on the 20th and then I'll be in Miami the 20th to the 25th. Then on the 25th, go back to Vegas. And on the 29th, I get to come back to LA. We'll get together in Miami. Yeah, we'll, we'll be yeah. there. We'll come. We'll come. It's just sick. The trial, you live out of suitcase. Yeah. It's really what you do. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit. Yeah, a bit. That's what we say. This is Little Snuff from this Skinny Joey Merlino podcast. And we would like you to check out A&J Flooring Kitchen and Baths. If you need a new kitchen, if you need a new bathroom, if you need a whole new house, they can handle it all. From countertops, backsplash, flooring. And don't forget one thing. They don't do it for more. They do it for less. Said, yeah. So... We could talk whatever we want on this podcast because yeah, we don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Really natural is the best way to yeah, do it. Really the clickbait don't use, bullshit. Yeah, big, like the big words. Are, we don't. Even, he went to fucking eighth grade. I went to ninth. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> I, even when we do the live shows, when I got to read the fucking questions. Listen, he read a question yesterday. Somebody asked him, "Are you uh, are are you from Naples?" Yeah. He tried to read the thing. The guy was asking him, like, "What part of Italy?" Yeah. He, what part he, of Florida? He, Naples. He, he read. He read fucking. <laughs> Nebelton, I said, or something like that. Yeah, he's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Naples and fucking Italy. It's fun when it's like that, though. Yeah, that's where I'm at today. Two right. days, no sleep. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. And uh, I'm just gonna, we're just hanging out. That's, I love it. I don't, yeah, so that's the best thing. That's it. So where where did it all start from, though, for you? You said Jersey, right? Did yeah, you? yeah. So I was, I was born in Jersey. Right. Uh, I was born in, oh, I was born in, I forget it's New Brunswick, East Brunswick, whatever, oh, yeah, whichever one's a hospital. Is. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so I was born in the Brunswick Hospital. Mm. I grew up in, like, a, a central Jersey. Uh, everybody there was either Jewish or wise. That's it. You yeah. know, that's yeah. the whole town. And um, but because of that, you know, the, the the Jewish kids had too much money, right? And all the Italians, 
encouraged anything. Yeah, right. you of know, course. and everybody loves to gamble. Yeah. yeah, you know, so that's what we did. So all the parents gambled. My my family's a thick. I have a thick bloodline of high stakes gambling. And uh, so, like, during the week, I grew up in New York City card rooms, going with my grandparents. And then on the weekends, uh, Atlantic City. What casino did you go to Atlantic City? So my grandfather's favorite was Caesars. Caesars? Yeah, yeah Caesars when, Palace. When he died, actually. So uh, during his eulogy, my dad said, uh, Pops, I hope you're in heaven rolling a heart eight. Mm-hmm. That's what he said, the eulogy. I love that. Yeah, so my grandfather, um, he, le- he left some debts, right? Like, you know, like, whatever. Like, he had, you know, like... Uh, uh, his, his, his house, his car, whatever, you know, just like debts. Yeah. So my father was the executive of the, uh, the estate. And he says to me, I finally started making money in life around this time. And I was like, doing okay. My grandfather passes away. And uh, my dad says, you know, can you buy some of the debts? It would really help the family. I says, yeah, no problem. So I bought, one of the things I bought was the car. So I buy the car. Mind you, I'm living in Florida. But the, um, the funeral's in uh, New Jersey. Okay. So I said, I'm going to have to drive this thing back. I go, okay, I'll make a couple stops. So the first thing I do is I go to Atlantic City and I go to Caesars. It was his favorite, and I try to buy a uh, a craps table okay. with custom felt that would say like in memory of you know Moisha right. whatever. Yeah. Well, what ended up happening was they they couldn't do it. They all loved him. He was a very high stakes. He was there like forty years or whatever it was, and they loved me too. But they go, we. The point is, we want people to be happy losing money at the table, yeah, yeah, not yeah. look at you know in memory and then be yeah, sad and course, lose money. Right. You know? Yeah, no, so, you're right. So they they couldn't do it, but. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so so Caesars mostly, but everywhere right. too. Bergada, you know, Bergada, and uh, we tried it all. It was like for me, it was experiences. I was a kid. Yeah. But he was like when he really plays, he plays in Caesars. That's all Caesars. Caesars. What do you play? Was his game dice? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. What was your favorite casino back then? Resorts was that the only? Was that the first one open? Resorts was the first Resorts? in Atlantic City. We used to go to Playboy. That was hard. I liked that it was there. it. Mm-hmm. Bergada wasn't even open. None of them was open. Yeah, Bergada. Caesars was big. Caesars. Yeah. It was Resorts, Caesars, Playboy. I like Tropicana because we yeah. had Providence in there at the nightclub yeah. when I was growing up. So we yeah. always used to go to Providence. They had Trump there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Listen, in, in Atlantic City right now, it's just a different vibe. It's yeah. not like it used to be. You know, I like going to Vegas. I like going to the win. We were there for the Super Bowl. We were there for March Madness. But it's fucking hard to win. Yeah, I know you sure. got I know you got it going on, you know, because you, you know, you, you're good at what you do. <coughs> and the stories, like, turning 500. What was the most you turned into? 500,000 you turned into how much? I did. No, no. I, I think that I got two stories I think you're talking about. One is I turned $200 into 800,000. Yeah, that's that's massive. And then I turned 50,000. So the truth is I had 80,000 in my pocket okay. when I went up to the table, but I only played 50. So I went 50K to 6.2 million. Model. But you got to subtract, like, an additional. I had 80K in my pocket to start, you know, yeah. or whatever it was. So 6.1 Eight, five, if you're looking to save money on your electric, look no further. Our main man at Divine Solar, Nikki, hit him up for a free estimate. No liens, no loans. First 90 days are free. You're going to get free sign-up bonus. The best part about this is we don't buy electric for more. We save the solar for less. Correct, right? Uh, it was that so the actually both of those stories were a mix of all the games, right. all of them yeah. at once. Yeah, blackjack, yeah. blackjack. So what I used to do is if I was ever running low, like let's say I was losing, your things were getting my my bankroll was getting thin, I'd go to blackjack, double deck, and if I could find pitch, I play pitch. And I try to like g- get grease with the blackjack, you know, because you could run up pretty quick there. So I try to get some grease. Once I get the steam going, I switch over to baccarat and just start bashing big hands. Mm-hmm. Bat, yeah, that's what you gotta. Yeah. Yeah. If you're gonna win big, you gotta bet big, and yeah. you just gotta fucking press. Yeah, yeah that's right. And throw it in, and yeah. it's what, you know. I watched the video. The other day, it was on one of them fucking things. A guy, I never seen a shoe like that. They only showed like eight, nine hands. He was betting fifty thousand a hand. He won every. And fucking, never raises bet. Wait, well, I, I think that's the most he could have. Max bet. bet. Max so bet. Yeah, that's what bet. I used to do. Yeah. But he got three blackjacks. They paid seventy five thousand. The one hand he fucked up. He's supposed to double down. How in Vegas though? Like for oh, someone. Real quick, you, know, on the, you know what's funny on that? Do you know if he played at Caesars? Right. You know that or no? no? It's the felt was hard rock. The felt I seen the felt I, I in that know. video. I got the video. Yeah. I'll show it. I don't yeah. know where it was. I got a, a video. Uh, Barstool posted it for like a whole month. So I was playing 50k a hand. So this is what I used to get. They they would let me bet 300k in baccarat, but to get to 300k, I have an extra two million dollars in exposure. The negotiations weren't great, so for uh, a save of two million dollars, I could bet a quarter million a hand. So even though I could, if I wanted, bet 300, I took the option for 250. So I could bet 250 in bac, 75k in a shoe, and 50k. Uh, in double deck, and I only really played double deck for blackjack. Yeah. So I have this video with and photo. I placed a fifty thousand dollar bet. Uh, I got dealt eight eight dealer out of four. So I split, split. got another eight, split, split, got another eight, got a three, a ten, an ace, a deuce. Dealer shows a four, opens fourteen, pulls twenty four. Scoop. 
So, but they, but they wouldn't let me double down. I couldn't double down after I split in really? double deck. Yeah, it wouldn't let me. Believe me, I would have. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. but they I wouldn't let that. me. So I could only play, put out the 200. But I scooped, so I got 400 on the table from one hand. 50K, yeah. I bet. Yeah. 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 How do you negotiate your limits? Oh, there's, there's so many negotiations. Yeah. First of all, anything in this world is negotiable. Of course. Everything you could buy, everything you could sell, and everything you can negotiate. So you just ask. I mean, just start with that. Yeah. Who are you told, like your host or... I usually deal with the VP or the yeah, president, right. but yeah. but in theory, yeah. So like to 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 most people, go get a host and just start asking for things. Don't right. forget the host is not your friend. Right. The host is a gangster. Yeah, Let's not, just be like yeah. super clear. They yeah. want all of your money and they mm -hmm. don't care if you can't feed your kid. They right? They get paid for you to lose. Yeah. So they act like your friend. That's the job. You yeah. know, they're slime balls. They're used car salesmen. Yeah. So just ask the host. Just I get used a host. To be a car salesman. Yeah. Used. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just ask them. You know, yeah. be like, let me get a host. They'll always give you somebody. Of course. And you just start asking for things. Well, I, ain't, I ain't allowed to none of them. Huh? You're not allowed to none of them. I'm barred from all Atlantic City since I'm 18, 19. Florida, I'm barred. Philly, I'm barred. Everyone. The only place I go is like Vegas. Yeah. What are you barred for? They just bar me. Exclusionless. I don't know. No reason? They don't have to give a reason. No, they don't give a reason. reason. No. no. That's no. what's crazy. But 18 years old, youngest person, right? Yeah. And then, you know, Joey went to jail for two years for making a bet. Jail. Was a bet? He lost. I lost it. Super Bowl, right? No, it was a, the playoff bet. You took yeah. you took the bet? No. no. Or you placed the bet? I placed the bet. Placing a bet's not illegal. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I got two years. What happened? On, the judge hated me. They hated me. I was the, the only guy in America that went to jail for making a bet. Yeah, yeah it's and not illegal to make a bet. Gambling's legal. Yeah, yeah. The whole fucking world bets. Yeah. They'd have to build 9,000 jails. Yeah, the crime is accepting the bet. Yeah, I didn't know. I'm, nope, not booking, betting. Placing, yeah. placing a wager over the phone. And I lost the bet. Yeah, I bet fifty thousand on. I think it was on the Brady. It was New England. Yeah. Two years over ten k. Two years. And you lost. Yeah, I of lost course. the bet. Ain't what like it was charge? fixed. What's the charge? Richard? Making it, placing a wager over over wire communication. So it's like a a a, 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 a I still don't know what the fuck it is. I know I went to jail for it. Yeah, Got two years. Yeah. The judge Crazy, hated right? me. Unbelievable. Crazy. Fucking sick. Green heavy equipment is on sale for you. If you go there, contact them. The link's all over the bio. For any heavy-duty equipment, they have it for you. They ship all over the world. Once you go there or if you contact them on their website that's going to be listed, tell them this skinny Joey Merlino and Little Snuff podcast send you. You're going to save $500 off right off the bat. There's a reason why they've been in business for over 30 years. And they don't sell them for more there. They sell them for less. Everybody, you could go bet anywhere. You can and go to a gas years, station and play slots yeah. now. Well, I, could, I could place a bet with you right now. Immediately. But if the cops come, only you go to jail. Crazy. Well, you could bet on the phone, right? Yeah. Like, you, I mean, it's legal. Yeah, it's legal. Fan, dole, draft, you know, every, every single one you could bet on now. Yeah. I mean, well, are you into sports gambling? A little bit. A little bit, right? You know, I actually do this thing. I don't um, I don't sell picks, right? You sell picks. Yes. With, with Noah. Yeah. You like Noah. Yeah. yeah. You know him a while, or? We, no, we just got introduced to it. We actually just signed up in the last week, but we've been talking to him for like three, four months now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So all yeah, new guys. guys. You, know, a nice guy. you know his story, right? No. You don't know no, what, what he did? No. So check this out. This is interesting. Is he the poker player? No, no, no. no. It's way more interesting than that, actually. So, uh, okay, you know OnlyFans? Yeah. Okay, you know Playboy Centerfolds? Yes. So it's OnlyFans' biggest competitor. It's, imagine the same thing, yeah. right? It's a paywall for uh, exclusive content. All right, it's a website. He created that. He said, I want to uh, be an OnlyFans competitor. So yeah. he came up with this thing. It's basically identical, whatever. He sold it to Playboy before it even launched. I think it was, I forget, I forget the number. We talk about it all the time. It's either 20 or 50 million, whatever, right? God bless. Yeah, yeah, before it even launched, sells it. So Playboy takes it. They title it Playboy Centerfold, and that's what Noah created. So he says to himself, he goes, I figured it out. I don't even got to do anything. You know, I can have the idea. I'll sell the idea. To all sell these, the idea. That's it. Yeah. So he's, he goes, all right, I'm going to build another one and just keep selling it. Rinse and repeat. It already works. So he's doing it. He goes, you know what? I'm going to switch it up this time. I'm going to do something a little different. I don't want to do uh, the porn and that kind of thing. He goes, I'm going to do gambling. So he goes, I'm just going to do the only fans of gambling, the Playboy Centerfold of gambling. And he held on to this one. And that's that's what Winnables is. Yeah, yeah that's what Winnable. That's what we're yeah. on. God bless him. Smart. That is yeah. smart. You know how he, how, he, how he does the picks? On his? Yeah. Like, no. So so he he helps provide you the picks, right? Of course, yeah. yeah. yeah they're good picks. Yeah. It's, it's AI. Oh, everything's AI. Yeah, how interesting is I, that? I can't believe I, it's crazy. Listen, it's all computer. They figured everything, everything out. Yeah. Listen, we don't even have to be in the same room, and it just looks like we're here together. I, bro, I did a podcast one time. The guy was in uh, Australia. I'm in SoCal, 
And the way the room is, both our rooms looked identical. But I'm talking to a TV. That's sick. And when you watch it, so this happens. So he says it to me. So I go, are you in the States? And he goes, no, no, no. And I go, well, how are we going to do the podcast? Yeah. And he goes, that's how I do all of them. I go, no, I watch all your shows. There's no way every single time is you're in two different parts of the world. Yeah. He goes, every episode you've seen, we're in two different parts. That's, that's amazing. Crazy. That's yeah, crazy. really. The, and with, with the AI now, though, too, like the technology that's out there right now, it's impossible to fail. Yeah. The only way you're failing right now, you, you're got to be a stone cold loser and you're lazy. Yeah. There's so much information out there for you to be able to make everything work. Yeah. And everything's easy. The kids today, they don't go out and play sports somewhere. They're always on the fucking phones. Yeah. They don't know nothing about it. Like yeah. when we started the podcast, we started from nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. They helped us. We didn't know nothing about this. I, yeah. was, I was in the car business. So yeah. when we started this and then you start getting the apps and you see this iPhone, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Over. You guys play on Kirgo? No. It's the new wave. Really? What's yeah. that? Kirgo, Kirgo.com, K I R G O.com. What is it? It's a full online casino and full sports book. Oh, really? So when I, you, I bet on paintball. Yeah. So I'm the guy that brought paintball to the sports book. I, and Kirgo is the first one that took it. So when I bet on paintball, it has to be on Kirgo. It's the only sports book in the world that offers it. Yeah. But they got everything football, whatever. They got he all was that. betting on the paintball tournament. It was in Atlantic City, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, the last one. What do you mean paintball? Please? Like paintball. I said there's no way in the world, because I didn't know what it was at first, like yeah. that you could bet on paintball. Yeah. I think, would you lose two bets? Yeah, yeah. So, oh my God. So I, I saw the, them. Bro, I cr killed I, them. I, yeah, so I shoot you with the paintball gun? Yeah, like yeah. it's a tournament. We would like to thank you for watching. Head on over to Patreon for the full episode.